One of California's biggest manhunts is believed to have ended here at a cabin in the mountains. Police had spent days searching for Christopher Dorner, the former policeman bitter after being sacked and bent on revenge. This was where the pursuit of Christopher Dorner began earlier in the day. It seems he'd gone into a house and taken two women hostage days ago while the police were swarming around here looking for him. He stole a car and he headed over the mountains and that's where the police cornered him. He fled into these cabins and as the police moved in, a journalist was broadcasting live from the scene. Clearly, that's so that uh, from the sky they can locate where, where they are. We, we must be right at the center of this right now. i got to tell you, uh, this is a pretty uh, tense situation. Two sheriff's deputies were shot in the firefight. One was killed, another injured. Then a standoff began. Christopher Dorner was sacked by L.A. police in 2008, and from an online posting, it was clear he bore a grudge. It's thought it was he who killed a former colleague's daughter and her fiancé, a police officer while on the run, and then a sheriff's deputy during his final stand. What exactly happened in the mountains is still being pieced together. It's thought the former military reservist was surrounded and tear gas was fired into the building as police prepared to raid. There were reports of a single shot being fired from inside as a fire started. A fire which destroyed the lodge. We it's don't know if he's night. inside. The cabin is on fire now. That's all I can tell you right are now. Are planning a long night? Then we saw the lights coming in. Of course, we are planning on a long night. Um, it's it's an active crime scene. Um, if this is Christopher Dorner here, he's um, now responsible for the murder of four people, and and attempt murder of three others. Police forensic teams were being sent in to search the burnt-out building to see if Christopher Dorner had been inside. It's not believed that he escaped the flames. Alice Talith at BBC News in the San Bernardino Mountains.